and we are back. Blanus has got the right idea. Oh, hi, bud. I can't turn the camera to look at you, but... That's okay. We're going to make some good old-fashioned curry. It's cooking time. Let's see. Let's do Gigantomix. It doesn't matter yet what you yeah, make. Yeah, well, we got it, and we don't know, we're not going to do too much camping, yeah. too. So it's like, eh, might as well. Let's do a, a Starfberry. Delicious flavor is otherworldly. Hell yeah. Intriguing flavor, sure. An Enigma one. You won't know what it tastes like until you eat it. Gross. <laughs> That's like uh, the mystery jelly bellies. You always get popcorn. Oh, God, I hate the popcorn ones. I've learned to love popcorn a little bit more, but I'm not going to say it's a good flavor. It's on uh, jelly bellies? No. Disgusting. You could have like one, you're like, okay, that's an interesting flavor, but a whole thing of popcorn jelly bellies? Mm, I'm going to say no. It's, ugh. Ugh, I hate it. Along with, um... Coconut. Coconut, yeah. I like coconut, though. Well, I understand it to be good for a lot of the people's, you know, taste for it. Yeah, but, but you uh, can't stand it. I just it. don't like it. All right, let's go. Get that flame going. Waft that breeze. <laughs> oh, okay, evidently the controller does not accept it going that fast. No, I don't know if there's a timing for it. I don't know if anyone's ever said there's a timing for yeah, it. I think you just, it's just cooking, man. I think you just hit it. All right. Yeah, that's it right there. That's the good stuff. I think you're just trying not to splash here, so you want to keep like a good rhythm. I don't. I don't know. It doesn't know. really. Like I don't want to follow the visuals because they're generally not right. Yeah. Um. I feel like ingredients maybe matter more. People I that play the Pokemon games. Do, I think yeah. the ingredients are what change whether or not you get S Charizard tier or whatever. And then after that, it's hey. Do okay on the other stuff, and yeah. that'll give you a total. I think Copperaja is if you get everything done all right, and then yeah. I think the the Charizard tier is like de uh, dependent on ingredients. Gigantamax. Jeez. <laughs> Gigantamax curry. That's kind of cool though. Aww. It's delicious. I really like Bolt Hunt. Oh. Yeah. Copperaja class. All right, that's cool. Cool. And, and we are done with that. Let's exit out camping. The camping. Should just pop up on the island. Experience points for some of them, which are level 70s. Um, just move around and it should pop up at some point. Let's see. Sure, you weren't being trolled? Uh, I can double check, <laughs> but it's supposed to be on the island. I mean, because this is, it's not interactable. So maybe you pick the one curry that doesn't work. Yeah, don't make sure you don't use Gigantamax curry. Hold on, I want to make sure that YouTube video doesn't pop up. I was watching. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna leave until it gets off of my because it's not on the island. I'll maybe leave you the have area to be right next to the kettle, or maybe you have to click the kettle. Can you like press? I, I tried. Oh. I, you, you can't do it. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, I'll try and catch this other Pokemon. Crown Tundra. It's not like we're hurting for ingredients on you know camping stuff, you know. Oh. And curry and, and delicious curry. Catch Kalilili. There's another Pokemon that people say, like, why don't you catch Spirit Tomb? We can't go online, so we can't talk to 32 other trainers. So yeah. we can't catch that secret Pokemon. We so can, if anyone asks, but we won't. why like, didn't you catch that yeah. one? It costs extra money. That's and, why. Yeah. Screw it. Well, can is paralyzed and unable to move. Let's catch it with a Pokeball. Come on, come on, Zozo. It's Pokeball time. Waiting the directions. Ultra ball. I guess I gotta use a net ball. Well, if it oh, work. there should be footprints you have to examine by the um, crock pot. Oh, okay. Once you okay. hit, once you get uh, read those, then you make the curry. I'll look for them then. They should be right next to it, and then you'll see the Pokemon pop up. Nest ball. I'm looking for net ball. I'll do dive ball. I imagine ball. we just talk to Sonia once we catch it, and then go find Peony in the Ooh, critical. Um, max area. Nice. Okay. Relicanth was caught. It's a gross color palette, but I also really like this Pokemon. It's just, it's goofy looking. It's it's supposed to be like um, a mud fish or something. Like one of the prehistoric bony fish. Yeah, like I like it. It's fun. Relicanth, longevity Pokemon. Rock hard scales and oil filled swim bladders allow this Pokemon to survive the intense water pressure of the deep sea. Yeah, I wonder if when they were making all the models because they couldn't have any as much. Um, Ooh, nope, as many polygons. I wonder if that's why a lot of this stuff is smoothed out. And since they were just exporting them and bringing them into um, the new version, just polishing up very a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's why some of the things are a little wonky on the models. I don't know. 
Let's go back. I'll look for the. Uh... Yeah, it should be right next to the crock pot. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh. Oh, yeah, look right there. No. So I would get off of it and try and walk around and see. I, I've been, I've been clicking. Uh. Uh, I don't see Maybe it. we gotta talk to Sonya. Maybe I don't they know. just assumed we had we talked to her. Alright. Probably. The guides don't <laughs> say that. Look around, like check the middle of the field, click any of those. I'm I'm, rocks. I'm slamming down the button yeah. to like how I was doing it with the footprints. What the heck are you finding, Zozo? I am I'm, I'm clicking near her. Oh. So Yeah, go to Sonya. Yeah. Maybe you actually gotta talk to her. Um it doesn't say you have to yeah, in the we'll guides. Try it. Uh, town um, map. Because we have all three, so when they're in our party. Sonia! Makes sense, though. She only told us about three of them, right? True. Ooh, nope, nope, not peonies. Um, and Maybe then she's they like, just oh, but assume that, like, one. oh, you always have to talk to them, so they didn't bother writing in the guide. I mean, it's been two whole episodes since we talked about the idea that for in order for events to happen, they have to be prompted. I was right? I knew it. I knew my theory was right. Oh, uh, uh sorry. Uh, please don't mind me. I just got a bit too excited there. Here, you definitely deserve a reward for showing me such a fine legendary Pokemon. Oh, nice. The fact that they entrust children with these <clears throat> legends of, like, myth and all this stuff is always a little, um... Well, I mean, I, I'm the champion, right? Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> now I'm certain that those other two must be here in the Crown Tundra, too. I'm just saying this all feeds into the you're in a coma theory for every Pokemon trainer. <laughs> or this is all just a dream. Yeah, coma can't be an answer to everything. It seems like it should be for the Pokemon universe. Why is a 10-year-old trusted with this Pokemon that could blow up the planet? Don't worry about it. Um, why is any... Who would be trusted with that kind of stuff? I don't know. The president? Nah, fuck that. That Pokemon. I knew it. That's the grassland Pokemon version. Then again, if any of them are like Rose, maybe not. Maybe don't have them. Maybe the innocence of a child is the right way to go. That's, I think, what it is in the Pokemon world. They're like, adults fucked up enough things. Uh, we did it. It's just amazing. Who's the greatest professor in Galar now? Me. Ah, um, uh, don't tell my gran I said that, would you? <laughs> did they give her the additional, like, the eyes faces? Because I don't think she ever made that face prior. I think so, yeah. I think it's just built into the models for a lot of them. But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope we'll take this. Uh, hope you'll take this little reward. I have no choice. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Yamper's just like <laughs> right in the middle. Just, just chilling. <laughs> you put the experience cell candies in your pocket. It's all thanks to you, Chris, that I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you weren't already the champion. You know, there's an old legends about Kabalian, Terakian, and, and Verizian. Said that to protect their allies, they'd wage battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since then, they kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to become your Pokemon, Chris. I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity another chance. Hehe, <laughs> warms your heart a bit, doesn't it? Now then, enough dithering about. I've got to get back to work, uh, home to write this all up. <clears throat> I'll be seeing you around, Chris. Don't hold your, uh, don't catch cold in this freezing place. Now, have fun with your old adventure, your own adventures. Come on, Yampa, you and me are heading home. Yamp, 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 yamp. Yampa, do not get fucking lost in that deep snow. I was just watching a Corgi totally video through. the other day. I'm just a Corgi just bounding through the snow. It's great. Oh, yeah. I saw one of a, a, a hound. I don't know what type of hound, but you know, the floppy-faced hound. And it was trying to jump through the snow, and its ears were, beagle. like, flopping. It's kind of like a beagle. Yeah, kind of. But brown, uh, it's it black, was it was white. jumping. It was br brown and black, I believe. Yeah. Um, and its ears were almost doing, like, cartwheels up against the snow. Like, it was trying to uh, cycle through. <sighs> I love dogs. Now we go back and try it, maybe. Yeah, Return to drop clue to Chief Peony. Do we have to do the peony thing no, before? No, I don't believe so. Because it wasn't part of it. Um, the way they built out the guide, that this is separate, and then peony starts the um, Dynamax dimensional Pokemon mm -hmm. stuff, and then we can start the tournament arc, which I read about. This is the DLC that never seems to end, um, in a good way. Like, they really... The other one ended really fast. The other one ended really fast, so this kind of puts it up as, like, the second best 
maybe like robust Pokemon game out there. It um, makes sense with this uh, one being the last one now that we know yeah. a little bit that it goes a little further. It still doesn't top silver and gold just because, you know, you only have paid $30 for silver and gold. Um, whereas you have to pay $90 <laughs> for this. Yeah. So. Oh, I don't think I have Dratini. Ooh, probably not. But um, this is uh, this is doing a good job of fighting for that contention of that top spot. Mark. Despite all the problems people may have, I mean, by the time they add this DLC, I'm sure there's still Pokemaniacs that are going, well, they're still missing this, 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 and 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 this, this. But as an overall package, in terms of Pokemon games, this is pretty good. This is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of stuff in there. Oh, please. Nice. Now, <laughs> you've been playing Pokemon consistently every single release, maybe not so much, but for people that have taken long breaks. I'm loving it. Yeah, there's a really amount of good content. Dratini, what are we gonna name you? Nothing, cause you're Dratini. You're gonna name it nothing? That's a little rude. Oh, dragon. Dratini dwells near bodies of rapidly flowing water. Nothing, get over here. The plunge pools of waterfalls. As it grows, Dratini will shed its skin many times. It's a dirty little worm. No nickname, cause you're in the first 150. I always liked Dratini. Uh, when I was a kid, and well, when we were kids even, yeah, um, they had the KFC little uh, yeah, 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 meal yeah. toy things that you could get, um, and there's the there evidence we're go. looking for. And uh, okay, so that's what it is. Now I have to cook. I know, I'll just cook. cook right here. Save it first, yeah. and then cook. Um, and Dratini was one of them. Yeah, they had uh, there was Volpix, there was Seal. I had them too. And. God, they bamboozled like there was a, us with that kind of stuff Dratini, as we were kids. Dratini, Vulpix, Seal. I felt like there was a fourth one. There was. I can look it up. KFC. Because they had them, like, at different places, too. But, like, everyone got different toys. Mm -hmm. They, like, did different deals, Nintendo, all around, or Game Freak, whichever. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pokemon. KFC. I feel like Sizzler got something, too. Sizzler? Oh, Zubat. Oh, Zubat, yeah. I had all, I had all of them. They were great. Um, super cute. Let's do package God. curry. Stupid freaking restaurants I got tricking us into going to those places and buying that food. I got Dratini, and I fucking loved it. Dratini's great. I loved Zubat. I've always thought Zubat's just a fun design. It is um, cool. It's like little, uh, just little no twig legs. Yeah, no face, twig legs, good color scheme. That blue, um, that blue purple kind of color. Yeah. Well, like the color nice. of the, almost like the color of the, the hills in the background right here. Yeah. Come on, get the flame going. Guess I'll just Look slam it. I mean, that seems to be the best way any. to get it going. That was such a thing though, growing up, and I'm sure it's it's less um, prominent now. But when we were kids, for, for like anyone the that's toys like, and stuff? yeah, anyone's like in their 30s, like they would really get you on. Hey, there's now Beanie Babies at McDonald's, mm -hmm. or hey, there's now Pokemon toys we at McDonald's. We had the best damn toys as kids from McDonald's. Not oh, anymore, because yeah. I don't think they're allowed to anymore there's a lot of rules right? because it was like exploiting children and like promoting unhealthy eating yeah it it's, was like you could get the healthy meal it's a good with thing apples, in the end or you get the one with the toy the amount of money i know that my family would spend on like food we probably should have bought like probably healthier stuff and mm -hmm. just because we were like obsessed with collecting spicy decorative curry <gasps> oh yeah i think i think they ended up stopped doing it um probably like 10 10, 15 years ago, maybe? About 10 years ago, yeah. yeah. And they still do toys, I think, with Happy Meals. Do I'm they? Not, they? They might not. I'm pretty sure they... Hmm. I Let's don't see. I don't think they do, unless they changed it from what I remember. I remember... There it is. Holy shit. What is that thing? <laughs> um, I remember a time when I was like, wait, they don't even have, you know... It was a big thing in the early 90s it's and Pokemon. middle of like 2000s. There was tons of cross promotional deals mm -hmm. with that kind of stuff. Now um, you just got to do it with uh, rappers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, it looks like they still do it, but I feel like it's to a lesser extent with a lot of that stuff. And I think a lot of it too is probably yeah. that's why most Happy Meals come with, you know, apples or some kind of <laughs> form of somewhat nutritious food. Um, well, I think it's an option, right? I think it always comes with it now. Who did we have in here instead? Because like, it comes with like 
Potato apple slices, slices and a mil thing of milk, which milk and burgers, not. That's a little different. I mean, I would great. love it as a kid. I love, I love milk, so. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd love that combo, <clears> but <throat> apples and milk, that's fine. Who the hell did we have in our sixth spot? Oh, for our team? Yeah. I mean, you had we, a... we traded out the the Zoro characters. Hold on, uh, go over. I'll just, I'll just do. What else? You had um, you had snap. You had oh, snap, that's right. Uh, I had snap clap. Yeah. You had snap clap, and that you had. That's what it was. Yeah, that should work. All right. Do a quick save. Oh no 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 no! Come on. Press some buttons too fast. God, you can't get out of a freaking McDonald's website without double clicking back like your life depended on it. What is this little My Little Pony thing? Oh my god. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I don't know if I like its eyebrows. Yeah, I mean, it's And it cute. looks really flat with its, like, skirt thing on the front. Yeah, it's weird, but also cute. Um, <clears throat> I don't hate it. It's goofy. It's, um, it's definitely a Pokemon, but I don't know if I like it. Its horn's cool. I like how it's not symmetrical in all, all sorts of ways. Mm-hmm. Ooh, please don't kill Zozo. It's one of the few unicorn Pokemon. Fight! McDonald's is cutting its plastic toys from its Happy Meals in a bid to make them more environmentally friendly. From 2021, the fast food chain will offer alternative soft or paper-based toys or a book instead. You did it, Zozo! By 2021. Wait, did so, it say book? Yeah, or a book. A book? That's tight, but what kid is going to choose a book? I think it's they're gonna be the one choosing, so it'll be a paper-based toy or. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh... hey man, promotes reading. I'm down for that. No, that's um, cool. It's just, <sighs> I guess if I guess it would, you would want it to be something a kid could choose because otherwise it's just like getting junk mail in your meal. Yeah. We know we get enough of that. I think they'll get to choose between a paper toy and a book, similar like when you were a kid. Um, mm -hmm. You could choose to have the toy or not have the toy. Not, not like we don't need enough of that fucking garbage anyway, right? Yeah, we don't need more stuff filling up land. Uh, but I get it. It was one of the big things as a kid, and it was exciting. You know, getting toys. Getting I know they've toys. definitely toned it down in terms of, like, Happy Meal toys. Like, the quality definitely went lower mm -hmm. um, when we were kids. The cross promotion thing was huge. They should uh, they should do it as like uh, you get like a little punch out card. Yeah. And just up it, and then if you want to do it, then they pass out the toys instead of just making it garbage, you know? Yeah. They make it a reward system type of thing. The Phantom Menace. I know that was takes the fun the out of most... it, but. God, remember all the cross promotion from when Star Wars first came out with the Phantom Menace? Oh God. KFC mm. had their own deal. McDonald's had their own deal. Burger King had their own. I remember they like all... the special cups. You could get like the pogs from Taco Bell. You get the special cups. God, the pogs. You could collect the tokens, and you, if you got the Yoda one, you get like a thousand dollars or something. There was the soda cans. I do remember the Yoda. ones that you open up, and if it's like had the sound bite inside of it, you uh -huh. were able to. <laughs> yeah. There was like the big like plastic toppers for your big cups of like Jar Jar and mm -hmm. Darth Maul and Qui Gon Jinn. Ultra Ball. And Anakin's Pod Racer one. I still think there's a couple in my attic. I don't know. Um, probably. I remember they you could you could even get like the uh, the glass cup ones or the no they were plastic cups huh? Yeah, they were the plastic cups. No, there was cup plastic ones. cups at Taco Bell, but I think there was glass cups at like Sizzler McDonald's. Or KFC I think or had McDonald's. fucking glass cups of special stuff. I, I yeah. swear there was. A well, there cup was special with, like um, back in the day. Garfield had glass cups, and I have a couple of those at my parents' place that I got through um, garage sales. My mom would keep. Uh, my mom's friend would keep. Pocahontas cups, but I can't remember. I think they were plastic because these she used to give them to us as a kid. As no, kids. I think during the Disney era, there were a lot of glass cups with they were like super faded out though, like over yeah. time. Well, and there the was Dis I know that there was Disney ones too. Like, so what it would be is it'd be a glass cup, um, and they'd have like designs like embossed into them. Mm -hmm. Um, so they had like yeah, you'd be able to feel the you could kind feel of, them yeah. like they were embedded into the glass, but they would also have a um painted like acrylic or plastic on the front that was like artwork yeah and that would be in color real quick can you not sleep and para para uh, that, that, paralyze at the same time oh is that what this is is that what i'm trying to think of all ways that this might not work they said uh, this one you want like 50 of them because like ultra balls because this is apparently super hard to catch challenge accepted it's not very effective. No! At least Articuno is tanky as hell. 
against these things. They finally made an Articuno that I can play. You can only have one status effect at any given time. Yeah, okay, Paralyzed that's Pokemon what it cannot is. be put to sleep. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That's what it is. That's why it's been failing. I'm like, there's no way it's missing every single fucking time. Yeah, in Pokemon comment section's like, you're done goofing. How'd you not know this? No, I'm sure they know. You yeah. Know. We appreciate the I'm tips, sure everybody. Us. <laughs> you fucking tricky dick. <laughs> this one's gonna take a while. Like, the Eurogamer guy literally said, Hey, hope you have 50 Ultra Balls ready because it's gonna take a long time. I don't know, man. I think I feel I feel lucky. I mean, it might not take a long time. I feel like we're long. gonna get this one. I think they're just like, Hey, be prepared because I yeah. think it's fairy type, so it's a lower drop rate. Well, remember someone also said too, they're like, No, that's not a thing. Even oh, did someone really... say that's not a thing? Yeah, even though it really fucking feels like it. All right, they maybe said it's not. type does not affect it at all. I could have sworn. Essentially, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe that's what it's they just said. all individual based and just feels like there are some fairy Pokemon with lower catch rates. It definitely feels like fairy um, Pokemon have lower catch rates. I'll fucking say it. It also types. feels like sometimes ghost ones do. Yeah. But uh, I mean, that's all just feel. Like I've said, feel. I'm no Poke. Uh, poke. What do you what do you call them? Poke freaks. What are they what are they called? Uh, Pokemaniacs. Pokemaniacs, there you go, yeah, based off the, the trainer the, battles, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> battles, yeah. I don't know what Pokemon fans call themselves. No, we're gonna Maniacs. call them Pokemaniacs. We're gonna call them Pokemaniacs. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know the fucking math breakdown and shit. Nice, we got it! There we go. I felt close. Again, just my feelings, guys. My feelings! Oh, I wrote drop rate. I should write catch rate. I'm too used to playing RPGs with <laughs> drop rates. Would you like to give Kel Dio a nickname? Yes. It says each species of Pokemon has a catch rate that applies to all its members. When a Pokeball is thrown at a wild Pokemon, the game uses the Pokemon catch rate in a formula to determine the catches of catching that Pokemon. Now, this is Bulbapedia. I can't remember who else, what the other website people said. Did it to not check. have a fucking Pokemon entry in the Pokedex? Did I skip through it? Like, what the you fuck? You might have accidentally skipped through it. Maybe double tap day or something. Pokemon's catch rate formula is determined by the ch chances of catching the Pokemon. Higher catch rates mean that Pokemon is easier to catch, up to maximum 255. The formula takes into account the following factors. The health of the Pokemon, the type of the Pokeball, any status condition, any active past powers in Gen 5, O powers in Gen 6, or Rotom powers in Ultra Sun and Moon. Other factors such as Pokemon's level, encounter rate, and encounter rate have no bearing on the chances of being caught. Oh, shit. Um, where the hell is this thing? Oh, did I not? No, that was Rapidash. Hmm. Nothing? Nothing I've seen so far. Um, For like fairy type? Maybe nothing. just look up like, why are fairy types harder to catch? And then somebody would be like, it's not! You're dumb! It says by species. <laughs> Does species, species doesn't mean type, so I guess... I don't know, man. It always felt like Clefairy, and, and all of those were really, really hard. All right, species of Pokemon. All right, let's sort. A to Z. What there was that thing called? There are currently 898 known species, so I guess each species is each individual Pokemon, so they each have their own individual rates. What was that unicorn Pokemon called? Um, It should be by the other legendaries, wherever they are. No, I they tried are. searching, and I can't find it. Uh, it's Kaladeon. It's like, like K-A-E-L okay. or something. H I J K. What the hell is it? Oh, those are H. Stop yeah. looking at the name. Does it not have a Pokedex entry? I. What the fuck is it called, man? You did catch it, right? <clears throat> yeah. Did you release it? I know. I re I named it. Oh no. It's like, would you like to give it a name? What the um, fuck is it? Look in your Pokebox. Crown Tundra Pokedex, I guess. Yeah, look in the Pokebox. Don't tell me I fucking released it. Where? Pokemon. Pokemon, and then go to the boxes. Yeah, yeah. press R to go to the box. No, there it is. Keldeo? Oh, it's K-E-L. Still, we looked check. up in K. Check the summary. Check summary, yeah. Um... um. Doesn't have any ribbons? Yeah, of course not. Is that it? Um, we'll look up its name again. Yeah. K-E-L. Has an ID number. What the fuck was its ID number? 
Oh, but I don't think that'll work in the Pokedex. I think that's just it's... The ID number is what you caught it. I forgot. ID number is like individual to every single Pokemon um, or something like that. Oops. What the? You Holy can, shit! Wait, you can move those around? <laughs> I hit Y on accident. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. That's uh, cool. Let's go to Pokedex. K-E-L. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, G. I guess, yeah, it's just... It's dependent on those Pokemon. Um, it depends on that individual Pokemon. They all have individual catch rates. Dude, it ain't in here. Kingler. Uh, Look at the glare. Kinnick, Look Clang, at the specific Kale, one. L, K O K O K R. Look at the Crown Tundra one. Maybe it's in there. Uh, sort A to Z. Maybe it's an error where they didn't put in the regular Pokedex. H I J. K There's no K. H I J K L. There's no there's no fucking Pokedex entry. I mean, look. <laughs> Maybe you need to go talk to Sonia. What the hell? All right, well, uh, well, that was a long one, guys. Sorry that we didn't get a Poke. I was like, wait a second, did I fuck up? We'll see you guys next time. Beep bop boom. That's so, weird. so we do talk to Sonia next, or? No, I just, I, maybe she'll give us a Pokedex entry for it. Something, right? What in the fuck? The uh, Pokemon that is black and has like many faces around it, and it kind of looks like an urn that's in this area that we just oh, here saw. We, go. we don't have that thing in this area either, so if we can find it, that would be great. And then I'll try and catch it on camera.